Yeah, yeah. I say for 27 years I've been getting checks clear. Rovers, Bentleys, yachts, Lears. I sip champagne like a nigga sip beer. A women by the trees, they used to call me Paul Pierce. At league money, I walk like a ball player. And I'm loved in New Orleans, I'm the motherfucking mayor. Hat to the back, you can barely see the fade. Niggas get the peace sign, bitches get the wave. Tell them haters I don't see them, tell them niggas get a wave. Pussies looking pussies, tell them bitches get a fade. Hand them with the shit, I don't miss that slow. 30 on each hip, which one I'm gonna draw? OG swag, yeah, I'm looking like my paw. You are now in the presence of a motherfucking boss. All black stanger, yeah, I'm flying like a wall. So these niggas can't see me unless they see in the dark. OG, you heard me? You know what we do. Another edition of Chiving Game. Me and my OG, and we don't really do no introduction, but we got the big homie with us today. Oh, man. Happy to be here one time. Figgity. One my, time my, my nigga Figgity. My nigga Figgity. What's happening, brother? What's happening? Happy to be here, bro. You know what I'm saying? This right here, one of the new pillars of the South, one of the new pillars of the city, the new pillars of the state. You day Chiving Game. I feel like I'm happy to be in the big bro. You know, we family. Yeah. We family. We yeah. started out together. Let's yeah. let We're we going to get straight into it. Let's take this shit back way, way back. I'll fall back. Oh, uh, Renzo, Little Trap. Wow. Yeah, early, early double D. Definitely. You know See, a lot of people don't know that me and you started out together. Yeah. Because of Moose, Moose introduced us to Devious. How you met Devious? You already knew Devious, bro. Yeah, he was from Howard's area, bro. He was my brother. Two cats in, in the neighborhood ran together with a few beats and rapping and shit. So that had to be like 92? Yeah, he probably came out in 92, so it had to be like 91, probably. Man. Yeah, like, you know, we was around each other like 90, and then we figured it out like 91, and then we boom, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, we already <laughs> moving the hot dog, you know what I'm saying? Mike Fools would have raised money up for promo material and shit like that, you feel me? Nigga say Mike Fools, though. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? That's how far back we ran it, you dig? Say that Mike Fools, though, says a lot. It definitely yeah. says a lot. Right. So check this out. Like, when you, when you, when you dropped your first album, Let's talk about your first album. The dropped. first album you ever dropped. First album I ever dropped. Before Big Boy? Before Big Boy, I did an EP. Believe it or not, boy, I wrote like 23 songs. I'll never forget this shit in the green notebook. The, the fool I was rapping with, boy, this nigga stole my shit. What? You know you, you you no bullshit. Just notebook. imagine just getting your rap career gone and your... Whatever your thing is, you feel me? You feel like you done got a body of work together, you heard me? Man, I remember I was going to the park, you heard me? I ain't going to put that boy's name out there. Boy, if you watching, you just bought it down bad, boy. But I remember going to the park, man, I had to be like 11, 12, something like that, boy. But it was like, mm, you feel me? Like, I, I never forget the old, you know, the old Jesus, like, boy, 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 you, talk, you know what I'm saying? I had 23 songs, green notebook, you know I ain't lying. You feel me? I remember the color of the notebook, you heard me? Look, we went to the park one day, we linked up, we was like gonna do a group thing. We did our solo shit, but we was gonna do a group thing too, you feel me? But I never forget this, I went over to his house to practice, you feel me? Walked away, he spoke to his mom, all that stuff. Went around, he running our raps and shit, man. I left and forgot my notebook. Boy, I ain't never seen that nigga. You heard in the rap? Did you ever hear any rap? It's like they moved a house. But did you? <laughs> you know what but I'm did saying? you ever hear any of them raps again? I don't even know. That's the that's the cold part. That's the, that's the, the yeah. That's the cold <laughs> part about it. But like, then you know how your shit like crash, whether it's a phone or a laptop or a drive. I felt that then. Felt like you crazy. Cause I had nothing else. I ain't known by heart, heart, but I knew when I read them, like, you know what I'm saying? I felt something, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, you talking about felt lost. You hear me? I think, and when I moved on, I moved, changed my name and everything. It went by a whole nother name. What name you was at first? Boy, I was whack, boy. Give me, come like, on, give me, the, give, me the, give me the name. Give me the name. Come on, come Sir on, come on, Alpine. Sir Alpine. Sir Alpine, like the speaker? Like the, yeah. like the radio, the speaker, yeah. What's that, but that's kind of cool. They were bumping it. I was, I was, that was, for, yeah, a little backpack, a little dude. I was, yeah, sir, I was tripping. See, when I first started writing, my name was just say I used my name. That was hard, though. Yeah, that wasn't hard. That was hard yeah, man. you gonna say that. You would say that. You would say that. I'll keep it funny. You would say that. How did you ever how how you end up um how you end up fucking with Big Boy? I got with Big Boy it was um I was already working with um Devious. I was already working with Moose and Mellow Fellow. Um and what happened was um Devious was in the mix of this is a, a guy that took me because this whole crew, cats I'm naming, took me under their wing, went to go to the studio. When my brother passed away. 
I saw firsthand like a village just took me in. You feel me? At that time, you know, cats can be like, you know, yeah, yeah feel sorry for you, did what you do. Yeah, that's our time. This our time. It's something that's different. Yeah, keep yeah. funky like a neighborhood. Like my family, I feel like my family was love, and they embraced me. Right. They was like, come here, little homie. You know what I'm saying? And like they was like, your brother hollered at me about you going to the studio. So it's all good. Your mama says, cool, I'm going to bring it to the studio. Yeah. Taught me how to count balls. You know what I'm saying? Let me chill in the studio, be a fly on the wall. And kept me active instead of... The bullshit. Uh, oh, man. Like, you know what I mean? Nobody would guard with me for me because I was getting into bullshit. You feel yeah. me? Just, well, it's yeah. New Orleans. It's full of bullshit. Yeah. You know how it is. You got to be able to maneuver your way through. You got to be able to be maneuver. Got to be able to use your wit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Also, Your, yeah. most cash for Brian B. Brown. Yeah. yeah. So who, 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 who like, was, was your biggest influence as you getting yourself together before you became funny? Uh, you was Sir Alpine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my biggest, my biggest, biggest my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, love it. My biggest influence <laughs> had to be my brother. You hear me? Okay. Yeah, you hear me? Because I saw this, you know, this dude I was already, you know, bumping heads with, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, like, I like your lane, and dig. Um, saw somebody that jumped off the porch, and I saw like what real um, decisions will get you. Right. Like right. super early. Yeah, the and, consequences, the yeah, repercussions you yeah, ask. Yeah, I saw that early. You feel me? And then you hear me like just life, man. Like you know, like just life, bro. I remember um, I walked in, discovered a dead body at seven. You know, one of my uncle's OD found in a tub. You feel me? Right. He was still in his arm and shit. Right. And I remember I'll never forget till this day they gave me ice cream cone. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you, don't, you ain't gonna get this, you know what I'm saying? Hold this down, you feel me? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get yeah, you out the way. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think, like, you don't forget nothing. That's what Aunt is saying. You don't forget nothing, dude. So, I think all that type of stuff just molds me, man. Like, well, that's what the heart of your music, where they come from, seeing these type of it, it, being it, in these situations yeah, at like, an early age. Yeah, like, um, you know, that's like, wild, bro. Situations that either it's gonna entice you a certain way. Oh, it, it's gonna be enough a demonstration for you to be like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going that way. I don't know what that was, but maybe it was. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, but it's also good you had the big homies in the neighborhood to help guide you and make sure because they wanted to make sure they, right. you, you, you know, you see your brother yeah. dream out all yeah, the way. Yeah, that's how I knew the type of love. Like, I, you know, a lot of people, I know everybody talk about hate. I seen love firsthand. I, you know, it ain't, I can't make you describe your love how I want you to, but how you display it. I can appreciate and apply it. I can be, I'm dangerous, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, as long as you reciprocate the uh, love yeah. back. And that's right. what I got from the people, you dig? Like, you know what I'm saying? Black Menace, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? The Jones family, you know, Skip, you know, Ephraim, you know what I'm saying? Roderick Schmidt, you know what I'm saying? A lot of cats, you know what I mean? Like, that just was there, but I'm appreciative. You know what I mean? Got in the studio long ago or something. Got that boy Devious. Devious at the EPS 16 Club. <laughs> he whipped up a beat for me while Wayne let me, that back then you had to, if you be locked up, or you can get an intro on Q ninety three. Definitely, because if you got on Q ninety three, quality is my brother. Big, you feel me? Buddy? Right. You got on the nine three. That's you feel something me? different. Nine o'clock props, and you caught your wave because th- you'll get whether you trash or you a go or you know. I heard you the other night. You know what I'm saying? And man, believe it or not, <laughs> we cooked up like on a Tuesday. Gave it to that boy like on a Wednesday. They played like on a Thursday, Friday. I was recording the battles, motherfucker, live. You hear me? Sad that was good. Cool like the Wayne show. <laughs> Turn. Ah, you know you're not your bad white Appreciate boy. you, my bad. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did so you did an intro for Wild Wayne. Talking I about? did an intro for Wild Wayne on Q ninety three. You heard me produce with uh, Devious. I know Mello was there. His brother Country was there, and he just put together a little beat, put a little you know something on there for me. I rapped on that bitch. They mixed that bitch. Wayne was like, "This will work." They played it. Chuck from Big Boy Records heard it. I got in the studio precise. And, precise. Um, DJ Precise, Leroy Edwards was making a beat for Sporty T. You know what I'm saying? Rest in paradise, Rest Sporty in T. Whoa, right. right. He was making a beat for Sporty <laughs> T, right? Ninja I'm on the wall out. like you, around. I'm on the wall like you just chilling. You're dead, been a fly on the wall, you heard me? And like, boy, all I heard was... And I'm just on the wall, you feel me? It's mine, my business. I want the mom. That boy, Sight said, hey, bro, what you just said? I told him what I said. Well, that's when you did bad motherfucker. That's when I did bad motherfucker. I lied. You know what I mean? 
boy called our sport. He said, hey, hold on one second, man. Hold on. Hey, our sport, man, it's nice, man. Look, uh, I'm in a session for you right now, making this beat, bro. But, like, I, I, I won't go somewhere with this. You mind if I can make you something else? Sports like, yeah, man, it's all good, man. I'll be there in a minute. You know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, cool. Let me get back to this, man. Got, man, got in the booth, did the chorus, did a verse, came up with a second verse, and had a single, bro. Like, Saturday, Sunday, I was shooting the commercial for the box. You know what I'm saying? For the baddest live. Box. And, Fam, I went from a long time. Man, long yeah, long man, longevity. Longevity. Definitely longevity. Man, man, can the can the congregation say yeah? You know what I'm saying? Jeez, say man. so. That gave you. That uh put the light on you for P as and for you to go over there by no limit. How you got over there? Man, believe it or not, um, I didn't just go there like just like boom. You know what I'm saying? I like had a little transition. You know what I'm saying? Well, as an artist. I ran into situations that some artists deal with today, which I think they can always deal with. Me and the CEO bump heads and did not get along about something. That was that big boy. Uh-huh. That was that big boy records. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And um, one of my first encounters on business, like you feel me, like you got all this other Preach. stuff that's winning. You feel me? You got um, you got Sporty T winning. You got G Preach. Slim winning. Yeah. You got yeah, uh, you was in the mix with a lot. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, G Slim winning. You got Black Menace winning. You got Part of the Crime Gregory winning. D. Yeah, yeah, Gre- Gregory yeah. D. You know what I'm saying? You got people um, that's winning, and here you got a new act that you know y'all y'all trying to you know you feeling your way, and in the process of it, being young and you know like we bumped heads. You feel me? And then that put like a hold on me. Like that, I, my, I won't be denied. Probably would have never came out unless we was able to reconcile. Just you know, just indifference, right? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, first time running across that type of business, like, you know, I don't know if, man, everybody, man, I had to get to a point of business of being able to have my chest out and deal with a man talking about money on numbers and stuff like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be able to say what I'm doing, what I want, just what I'm looking for, and to be respectful enough to know that if my means ain't met, well, I know what a door is. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, oh, what, or maybe we could visit this another time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be fuck you. Right. Well, what taught you to bend the side of that door? It was my brother, man. It was my brother, bro. It was my so brother. He was your plan never yeah, yeah, because he okay. was he was my mom gave him my ultimatum. And I ain't saying it was the wisest thing. Right. But I saw a sixteen year old dude mama tell him, Look, you ain't gonna be selling that shit in my house. Right. Either you gonna stay here and don't do it, or you gonna get out this bitch. And do it. And he left. That sound like my mom. I know how that go. Right, I right, know, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's right, the truth. I mean? Like, and he wasn't st- <laughs> like, like I'ma show you better. He just got, he's, he just got bit by that bug of wanting to get money, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to have shit. You feel me? Like, and I seen him. Like, this is the person I shared a bedroom with. If he could do it, man, and I know he called me for little things when I'm 14. Imagine, you know what I'm saying? If I, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, that's how I looked at it. Like, you feel me? Like. Mama keep praying for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had my little stint too. My mama walked in on me on some shit, and I went to like had a whole prep. <laughs> she something going on like fucking somewhere. You heard me? You got the tomatoes. You know the love. Right. You heard me? She was like, "Whoa, I got a little." You feel? And I, you know, I did. I just wanted to add on, take care of the light bill and shit like that. You feel mm-hmm. me? So that was you know what I mean. That's what my head was at. Right. It wasn't like you heard me. I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's what most youngs in the hood got to look forward to hustling. They ain't got nothing. Some of them don't get a chance to know you got options. We ain't know we had options, you feel me? Yeah, yeah until t- t- we get the consequences behind Till Until we get the consequences behind it all. Yeah. Oh, it's the environment you allow yourself to be in. If you want to me, this is just me. Even if you don't like it. If you around a bunch of astronauts, sure. you're going to be astronauts. Nine, I'm just saying, you feel me? You might be like, man, I ain't with that spaceship. You might be like, say around, I don't do heights. You know what I'm saying? Change it but you're going to be like, but you know what? I found another job within the community as an astronaut. You feel right. me? So that's how I look at it. You feel me? My brother did this. My dad, a hustler. You heard me? He, he know how to make something happen. No one has a real uh, paycheck stuff. You know what I'm saying? My brother did a little construction. This is what I saw. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, we aspire to be greater. Right. Yeah. Right. You know Better. Saying? That's yeah. right. That's when true. When he was gone, I was putting on his truck jewelry. You feel me? I was wearing the ballads, the corn, you heard me? I was f- dumb, stupid, fly, because my brother was, you feel me? I and, I, and I was a you know, fat boy, so I fit his shit. Right. So you heard me? I could fit my big brother's shit. So I wore the ballad Commodores. 
You know what I mean? I wore the yeah. denim polos. You know what I mean? Watch At competitions, the mirages, like, and I had my Marines. chest. Don't forget the Marines. On the Marines. Don't forget the Marines. I'm six, you know what I mean? I'm 12, I'm th- you feel me? Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, dog. I knew what them semen grades. I need to have them bitches. You heard me? I'm telling you on everything I love, dog. Like, that's what my head was. That's how I grew up. Four houses when bounce music was invented. So my, my head is just walking errors. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you hear me? Y'all seeing me, but I'm happy as fuck to be here. Right. Because it's, it's errors. You feel me? Like, and, and I know they're processing this for real, dog. Like, Almost definitely. Errors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, a kid in the 80s. Boom. A kid in the 90s, you know? You know, coming to a man. two th- You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was like, I be just like, Static, you know what I mean? I can live anywhere, I go anywhere because of my upbringing, where I'm from. And it's the confidence of, I, I draw a piece of all of us, and that's what make me who I am. You know what I mean? A motherfucking problem to deal does, with. Does that make it easy for you to write? It make it easy for me to to write. And it's according to what I'm distributing, how easy it could be, or how complicated. I'm you're, a, you're a real product of your vibe, man. Man. Your words and your, your music reflect. Yes. Say, after I heard this album, I called him and I said, say, they're going to have to make another genre rap of music. That's New Orleans. Excuse me, excuse me, but didn't you were supposed to send me that too? You forgot. I you told I him, yeah. You forgot. Don't, no, I just want to. what you got to do, old people. You had to get him. You had to get him. You had to get him. You heard what you he said? I got to send it to him. You I told you, fiend, new album. What else could I do? You said you were going to send it to me. You don't You don't remember them words, huh? I, I probably didn't know he had his way. I, did, I called you and told then you, though. You, I know. Then what you said, but I have you. Nah, we gonna see. Keep there you it. go. But you said you were gonna send it to me though, but you didn't. That's what you That's gotta cool, do for old people. Back to, I, had, I would have had, had to send it. I just wanted to pick with yeah, you. I'd have to send it to him. And while we, we said that, I want, I want, I want, I want, you know, shots out the cheeks, tacos and rice, bro. Fire your tacos. Best in the city. Y'all gotta holler at cheeks, man. We'll get y'all some of them things. Go see him. Go see him. Go see him. Yeah, they got. They they fire you. I just wanted to been highlight going good on them. I, I shout out to them. You hear me? They've been respectful of tagging. You feel me? Shout out all the independent foodies out here. Shout out the independent trucks out here. You feel me? Anybody That's out one here? of our sponsors. We got to shout them out. You have to. Sure, you know what I mean? You have to. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Look, look, OG be hustling. He don't be playing I mean, OG. You got hey, to you keep, you hey. keep everybody in the loop. They're the family. You keep the they, on, they keep us keep full. Yeah. This is good. They're and really they're good. good. Right. So, you know, I just wanted to say that. But back to what we were saying, because you ain't sent me the album. But what you were saying? Besides yeah. me not seeing you the album, I was just saying that, like as in us is, the, the, I'm 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 plus for the easy. Like, we ain't talking about you. Don't okay, all this right. For this conversation, for the okay. forty forty club. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna just listen. That's your voice. Uh, but as we so get into music, like you know, everybody talk about when you get old, as in in hip hop, mm-hmm. you are, it's, it's old for you. You can't do no more. Nah, man. Nah, man. Like. The world and tricked us, man. Like you feel me? Like the world and tricked you. You feel me? I ain't about to preach to you, but the world and tricked you. You could do anything. You feel me? There's, there's like so like seven billion some people. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So I'm trying to tell you, like, there's a million people out here for everybody that like what you like, that like what you like. You feel me? You just gotta tap into it. You feel me? You kind of you gotta like exemplify and not giving up. You know what I'm saying? Because you attract energy. You attract what you're putting out there. You, know what I mean? you felt some kind of way on this album. Yeah, I, I just feel like we've been lied to him. And I was going to say it in this project, let you know I ain't perfect. And I resemble you. And, and I, 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 I found a switch inside of me I can't turn off. And I hope that I, I could be a, a vessel to let you tap into yours. To awake your superhero within you and go get you. You feel me? Go get you. Like, nah, dog. Like, you feel me? Like, everybody get their turn. You feel me? But, like, you got to want it, bro. Like, you got to want it, bro. Like, it's real. Sacrifice is real. Like, you know, you got to hustle like you, like you never did before. You feel me? You got to make new habits in your life. You know what I'm saying? It's going to allow you to acquire this better tomorrow that you damn near see what you, you know, you, you, you know, you kind of like ain't tap, 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 then like you want to. You feel me? But to be honest, some of that new music is trash, though, bro. Yeah. Said, a lot. The, the OG artists, listening. we ain't going to do that. Yeah. Just, no, we ain't going to do that. I'm not trying to discredit. Yeah. No, let me tell you how we look saying. at it, though. No, just do, I just want to say this here. I ain't trying to discredit no artists, bro, because it take a lot to do what you do. But what y'all talking about not really popping. Now, if you were listening to old dude like you and him, 
that's where they get young dudes game because they can pattern their life and not make stupid mistakes. But say sometimes us is when you when you when we been around like as then we look at it as at least them little niggas doing that instead of doing something else. But I, I'm saying I'm not taking from their credit. They just let the industry influence them too much and do, you know, some silly shit, bro. Yeah, I mean, industry you know influence. Hey, hey, man, hey, bro. I'm shout out to that boy, so the shocker. Everybody' opinion is, is gonna do what it do, but it takes all types of walks of life to exist, so we can know what what, what to do and what not to do. So you know, and but that's, that's why I come back. That's why I come back and say the game that y'all deliver, bro. Exactly. Y'all deliver yeah. game. Yeah, we had to because it's like, why? What you listening for? You heard me like, how can I connect to you? What about me? You see about yourself. If you don't see something to me, you you see yourself. You know, how can I share real mental energy space with you? Like you, you know, what I'm saying you city to city. Like you know, you applying this to your life. It's a difference. This is this is something, man. You need to, we we mentally them tapped in. Like you know, what I'm saying, and it's on us and up me to, to abide that. You know, what I'm saying it's like a congregation. You feel me? I got an obligation, like, you feel me? Like, because some cats can't see as tall as my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? And most people got to acknowledge that they do got some type of responsibility. Whether you like it or not. You want to be fucked up? Go to college. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go fuck up on grown people nursery. You know what I'm saying? But, like, out here, man, you got families dependent on you. That's what this album is about. That's Survivor's Anthem. is about, like, man, like, I, I, I want to retire my mama still, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a humble, I'm a humble monster, man. You feel me? Like they got some things I still want to obtain, and some things I know we could do. We gotta just do more for us. You dig? Humble right. monster, yeah, yeah, right? Man. That's that's fire, yeah. though, bro. That's fire. Yeah, that album is definitely. See, I call, I be I always call you about this album because I always tell you like that bitch. It it, it it did something different for me. Like I was happy to hear some good music for a change. But I mean, <laughs> as in things that I can relate to as in, right? And I don't mean as in the things that just I like, but the things that I'm doing. Yeah. It, hey, it mean a lot to, to just be able to, you know, if you jam it, you fucking with it, man, I, I appreciate anybody that's in the Gator Project. If you gave two like, listens, a like, a share, if you told a motherfucker he ain't like it, you hear me? I appreciate it all because it's still your mental time and your space. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, God was God was working. You know what I mean? How you how, how could you not like your music though? But you want like you one of the top rappers out of New Orleans, bro. Let's face it, bro. Grateful. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if you're not in the top three, you're in the top ten for sure. Grateful. So you know that speaks volumes. Grateful. So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm from how would you? You come from an era with guys, you know what I'm saying? Like Neil said, guys <laughs> across his mud, and it translate today like I'm a I'm gonna make a road. I'm going to make a road, you heard me? It ain't exist till I did it. You know what I'm saying? That's where we're from, the city care I forgot. You know I, just, I just think that your, your, your upbringing and what you've seen and what you was taught and the love you had from your family kind of really molded you into being the rapper you is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it, it's, it, if they go back to your early days and see you like really, if you, man, if you say this nigga can't rap, something wrong with you. I couldn't wait hey, to say that after this bro, album seven, dropped, though. I couldn't. Wrong, wait. They look at us as you only as good as the last shit you dropped. Boy, when that nigga dropped that shit, I say, uh oh, trouble. Us, so you gonna keep telling me that? You just gonna I keep rubbing it in on me? What you want me? You know, I, I'm gonna sing it out. I listen to two songs. I believe I had a chance. Well, why the I had to sing with, the rest uh, of it? You didn't send me that. I had to go. And I'm try saying, well, why you didn't get all of it? Man, right, fat. I knew he had to have something on YouTube. So I had to go. Whole album. You could have got the whole album. I see him and um. Oh, got a physical CD. Him and uh. Today. He's Serve definitely on, doing. We do. We're talking about that too. Him and Serve on. I seen you and Serve on. All you can get. You can get. You can get. I was gonna call it for you. That bitch fire you too. So you both snap. What you what you learned from your no limit days about the business? Let's talk business. Um, what I learned about the no limit. What I learned. About I mean, about Evan, the Let's let's say through your whole career. I'm gonna say marketing, and like um, you, <laughs> man, like when you thought you didn't spend. This on production, or you thought you'd have spent this on the, the calls or the looks or the videos or the clothes. Right. Then you got this other bill. You know what I'm saying? You thought you'd have took care of the hotel fees and the airplane. Then you got the food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I learned that it's an everlasting bill, and you got to be ready for the bill. If you ain't ready for the bill, you can't be a boss. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, even if it's just you at the table. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The bill come, it shouldn't spook you. 
because this is what you showed up for. This is what you've been working for. So the label don't show up none of that. You got to exact. The label could do it, but it, they might hike it up. Shit, you know? Definitely. Some labels make you pay for paper clips, toilet paper, oh, paper definitely. towels, lights yeah. being flicked off and on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he touched the air condition one time and went from 73 to 71. I ain't saying it made it much colder and mess with the bill. But, you know, shit, we don't know to do that. When you be doing that, I don't really do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they got some labels that'll do that, and you could appreciate it in business, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, all you're going to do is turn up. You know what I mean? If you don't know what it's like to owe somebody 50K, it could be a lot to some people. It may not be a lot to some people. Mm-hmm. And to pay the bill, you, you know, shit, you don't know what it is. I learned from Mo, like, you pay your bills, you get your blessings. If I owe you, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 scrape it. You feel me? I'm going to, you know, if that's what we're doing, you feel me? I did, had that with a record company. Right coming out, I owed them a little 50 piece. It let me work it down. You know, at the time, I ain't, I wasn't able just to, ah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I so just. Yeah. It's, it, it's true. You you ain't make your first meal until you got to with the UK? Man, I ain't, I ain't make my first ticket until I got with 36 Mafia. My three, bad. 36 Mafia? 36 Mafia, yeah. I yeah. mean, like liquid, yeah. Yeah, wow. to know what that is. But like, you was you know on No Limit and Big Boy and Nigga. Yeah, but like, you feel me? The paperwork, what I did my business for, it was what it was. You know, uh, I can't charge them for it. You don't think they took advantage of you? Uh, I feel like I went to No Limit University, and I'm just doing something with my diploma. You know Respectable. What I'm like, you know. a- a- that's kind of cool, too. I can understand that, because you do got to pay your way in this world to learn something. Tuition for real game. Like Man, you, you don't pay him, you're going to pay somebody. That's definitely yeah, a, yeah. A, so that's, a great way of putting it. I, I kind of understand. I, that's you know definitely that's a great business. way of putting it. But that's Definitely. business, though. You don't pay him, you're going to pay somebody. And be comfortable and, learn. and be comfortable paying somebody. Right. That is a motherfucking session, a saga, a episode, <laughs> a so movie, <laughs> a fucking part two, three, four, five. Definitely. Of his own, man. Be comfortable paying your fucking bills. Well, I mean, if you don't, you're going to be put out. You're going to be put out, but also... You don't know where you where you knocking yourself. It's one thing when she go, okay, baby, y'all go ahead. You feel me? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I got the bill. If she, if, if, if you in the diner somewhere in the middle of ten bucks two, Charlie won't give you a free meal. Bless her heart, you dig? Right. She saved me one. How much, man? Leave her a tip. I appreciate it, right? Right. But if you know you got a bill, you walk out. You be good at walking out on fucking bills. Because you know <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like you could do it with an accountant or a bank, or you could do it in the street. Streets ain't gonna do it like the count in the um, they gonna they yeah. gonna want blood. Yeah, so I streets tell gonna you, want blood. Me personally, bro, it's your big homie. It's just a perspective. I ain't perfect. I'm telling you like this yeah. Get your fucking credit together. Mm. You heard me? Make yeah. sure your name ain't got no mud. If it do, make sure it look good with some Louis V or some shit. You heard me? Blend it good, baby. You heard me? And fucking go run it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared to invest in a dream off of credit. You feel me? Huh. Knock the bill down, bitch. You just you're gonna be three times as harder. That's that work. That's what I've seen in different cities and shit. Cats be like, well, girl, my, my dude, you know what I'm saying? They be like, what? Man, what? <laughs> <laughs> they can they go start a label, they start business, they do real estate, they nursing, whatever, right? That's all I'm saying, bro. Link up with some people, get some money, bro, because the pastor balling. Bishop. Preach. Baller. Preach. I like the ball. Preach. 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 This real choppy game. Preach. Look, and I love the pastors. You heard me? And I love the bishops. You heard me? Yeah. Hey. And I, I'm, I'm just giving you, keeping it funky with you. Find your niche and get some money, bro. You feel me? Money ain't hard to get. It's hard to keep. Get money is hard to keep. Every million you paying 333rd, 400,000 mm. back. So, you know, you don't get comfortable with, oh, I just seen two hundred thousand. Ooh, I can't break a hundred for a hot dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm from a, I'm from Eras, dog. Just Say. kill me, dog. No cash with wild money wouldn't break a hundred for a hot dog, right. boy. But he up. Right. Oh, Ooh, he up. You heard me? But that was that attitude. Crazy. You feel me? That's how you keep. What changes? Just money, dog. 
Mm. It's just money, dog. Let's be honest, when you break a hundred, don't it go so fast? Oh, what? You don't like you're that. Done. Huh? You, when you get, you, you like this. Yeah, you like, you like, you like, 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 and I don't know, it's to each his own, bro. Just make some of that shit, bro. And get that credit good and ball out with your kin folk and hire your people. And you ain't got to put all your trust in them. Just trust and know that they're going to either fuck up or they're going to do good. Right. That's business, you though. Period. And, you do it with everybody else. Man, but look. I'm just saying, do you, you read a high employee, they're going to steal from you that you don't know? Uh, one that you do know. And one that you do know. Look, you can open the margin for what they're going to take and write that off in the book. That's Boom. right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it out the oh. check. <laughs> we know you got that. I'm going to just go ahead and get that yeah. back. Here go we ain't even got to talk about yeah. it. You know what that's for. Whatever. You got to follow your home. That's what you got to follow your home. You ain't got to do that, dog. That's, that's you law. You're doing good business. That's true. illegal. That's true. Look, I'll take it out the check. It's cool. Look, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, that'll get us further because we can't bring our feelings to the boardroom. Like, you know what I'm saying? We emotional, you know. We, you know, can't have emotions in business. Yeah, so we gotta be able to take our most of our emotions in the car. Well, you gonna sit here, my nigga. You be wild, you know. What I'm, <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to go upstairs. You stay here. You know right. what I'm saying? Because you want to get there, you want to be able to process what's really going on. Because it ain't number money. They just trading shit. They just moving shit. You know what I'm saying? And we can't fall in love with it. It's like it's like a. It's like can't it's, take it with you or nothing. Dude. Look, man, and that stage, that stage, that stage, that stage, like bigger than heroin, dog. Like you, 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 you've been warned. You feel me? You've been warned. Say you, OG you, say you ain't never had a drug like that, dog. Ain't OG no say life, you dog. can't take it with you. You can't. You can't. I'm, you've been warned. Don't get hooked on that shit. I mean, you can have all the money in the world. You you, you can't take it. With you know what the old nigga told me one time? Uh, uh, I ain't never saw a U-Haul follow a hearse. Yeah, sure have. Real sure. I said, man. You sure have. For sure. And they ain't going to put it in the ground with him. Hey, and look, don't worry about trying to make a will. Make a trust. Don't let nobody convince you that you got to have a will. Make a trust. A What's trust, the difference? A trust, you can't really trace all your wealth. You can't tax my children on shit that I've entrusted to them that ain't disclosed to you to the specific. The specifics. Man, you really a double me, tax. You, you just told me something. Double gotta, tax. I got to get Jill shit Make right a lot now, of shit. Trust. Make a lot of sense. Make yeah, I got to hey, get Jill shit them? right now. What right, you talking bro? about, your trust fund, baby? <laughs> <laughs> they don't never say what you're talking about, you will have him, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Big game, you dig? That's all I'm about, bro. I done seen the, some cool shit. Ups and downs, I'm happy to be here. You hear me? I'm just grateful. And like this is cool, you know what I'm saying? I like what y'all are doing. I done seen a couple of episodes and I fuck with it. You know, y'all from errors I respect and I love and I'm happy to have survived it. And um to be able to even sit up here with y'all, you know, as gentlemen, you feel me, and survivors, y'all heroes and monsters, you feel me? <laughs> I respect that, you hear me? Fisherman can always spot another fisherman, you know. Right. Yeah, so I just respectfully, like, you know. You know you the big homie. I dig it, dog. I'll dig it, man. I'm gonna always be the I'm gonna I'm gonna be the little big bro. You heard me? Because y'all, you dig, they we know what's up. Heroes and monsters, man. Heroes and monsters, we equals, you feel me? They gonna always put us in classifications because that's what they do. But at the end of the day, we we know like we well, that's it's 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 the same check, bro. Same, yeah, I sure hope I get mine because Shello sure work me like that. Here you go. You know you had them now, disgruntled employees. Saying. I ain't really disgruntled. I said, check bro. this out. Saying, he I'm, ain't even employee. I'm having fun. You chill. I'm having fun, Big man. Time. See, this, this is show. He the one who told me to do it. Like, he planted that seed. Great advice. He gonna keep lying on me. I, like, I said, the, the dude saw me doing jams and joints. Right. And what you say? Nigga, you need to do a podcast. Yeah, I said, well, have, do it. You be having a lot of people on it. I said, well, you do it. How you gonna be talking to the people? Nothing. You know, See? Man, we ain't gonna get Years later, in a few it months should after. Be sh- shouts out to your producer T. That's who put it all together. That's shout what you do. T, shout out to everybody in this bit right now. Silky, the, the, the cameraman, and Chill. all your potter like mom. The nigga back there with phone and keep cheeks, ringing and cheeks piling and screaming. And boy, all of them that's y'all always see these people, that's boy, really like for you. Gangs, boy. Team, bro. Boy, that's you think it is fucking 420 all over again, boy. Hustler. You yeah, that's got hustle up. It is our own bro. holiday. That, Your shit. I'm gonna put a dive. You gonna pick it up, baby? 
That's mm. all he do. That's all he do. <laughs> Please, Jeremy, get these messages in the bottle. They're MP3, bro. Please, take them. You Say better what? than we ever was, homie, because you charged with it. What what advice you got for the for the up and coming rappers now, but that's trying to get to, you know, the next level of the game. If you trying the one to get, that really struggling. If the ones that really really struggling, man, get your credit together, bro. Get your credit together. Boy, we would have been new that. Cause you know why you dangerous already, man. Check the check. I have you busting your jugs. You already dangerous, baby. Right. So imagine you get your credit together, man, and you got things mapped out. Learn to start mapping out three months, six months, nine months, a year out. So you could graduate the map in your life out five years in advance, and you could turn up. You know what I mean? Because if you don't do something with your time, somebody going to make plans to do something with your time for you. That's smart. You know I mean? That's the truth. That's how you're going to come up. Fast. Start trading your time. And for, that's how you're going to get your money. Somebody wants you to intern over here. Man, look, shit. Man, man. You don't make time for your plans. What's going to happen? Somebody going make to make plans for your time. You know uh, I mean? That means you're going to have a boss. Mm hmm Hey, what the Jules dropped. I mean, you gonna have a jail, pause. jail, jail. Come, come on, this woman. You ain't doing nothing right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come you on, ain't doing bro. Nothing else. You ain't doing. You ain't got nothing else to do. But if you was doing something, yeah. So just keep moving, bro. I ain't have it all totally figured out. I just stayed in the studio for some reason. I felt like that was the safest and uh, the, to me, man, more spiritual place where I needed to be. I didn't want to just fuck up and just fuck my life up. I seen cats being taken out of the game. You know, I go hang out here, have a baby. The next day, Matt get hard off the jail. I do this. I see C get hard off the jail. You know what I'm saying? Shit just be happening. You feel me? So, man, keep one foot out to the next one. And, like, your team got to be strong. No one man can't ball. One man ball. You cut off the head, the body going to fall. That's right. If it's nine of y'all, man, motherfucking nine of y'all should be too legit to quit. You heard me? Like, it, you make, make sense of it, bro. Okay, he, he'll fuck up, man. Well, let's find something for him to do that pans out <laughs> to when he, he fucking up. He ain't fucking up too much, but we trust him and we know what his trust is worth Facts. to us. You know what I'm saying? So, Facts. yeah, bro. Straight like, lies and numbers. Yeah, that's that's the bigger page of where we at, man. A team, you take a team. I ain't seen that no one man do it himself. Sheesh, that Probably make a whole lot of sense. Team. You got to make it make sense. Mm hmm. Say, back to this, 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 bro. This album, man, this album is uh, is an installment of, you know, 365, one, four days. Some kid from New Orleans. You heard me just turning some pages, you know what I mean? This ended up being wolves, just woven together, you feel me? And, um, you know, it's an installment. It's an offering, man. Like, I'm. I'm hoping like a message in the Bible, you can turn up, but you know, take care of grandma. Don't forget grandma, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget papa. Don't forget your uncle that was deaf for you. You know what I'm saying? He might be Damn. strung out. You turn your head on. He, he dealing with something like we ain't got to turn up. You know what I'm saying? We got to turn our head on these type of people. Cause these are fabrics of human beings of who we are. You know what I'm saying? Like we owe it to ourselves to turn up and I want us to ball. So this is what the project is. TGI, I thank God it's fiend. Thank yeah. God it's family. Thank God I found myself. Thank God I ain't get finesse. Thank God I got my fate. Like, that's where I was with that. You hear me? And I was around. It's sure. My it kids, my wife, shows. you know, and this was what them vibes brought out. Like, a man that this is his lifestyle, but this is what my head at. It's, you, you've you been tricked. You thinking, like, this. I, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, to this. This, this what we at. Don't think if, for a minute, you feel me? Bill Cosby had to go and be Cliff Huxable, and he had to create that in his mind for us to see the world coolest dad outside of what we may have possibly seen, you feel me? Well, we, we got, know. Man, right. yourself, we got Fact. the same power. So this project was, I don't know if that's another project I ever dropped, but God, this this is what you got off of saying, man, I love you. I Fact. fucking love you. I'm charged with it, bro. Ancestors ain't play with me. Fact. You heard me? I know my intentions. I know my purpose in life. You heard me? Yeah, dog, I've been preserved. And, and my duty is to vibrate higher so you know it exists. What's your favorite song? My favorite song? I I do not like saying I have a favorite song. Well, I mean, all but of I'm, them your favorite song, I, but the one you I take fucks the most with you. I fuck, I, I'm, not, I'm telling you, so I got to tell you what's real. <laughs> my favorite song, because I think sometimes this was just my head, B.A., you heard me? My, it's got to be protect your energy. Because I figured, like, if, 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 if y'all didn't want vegetables... That was my way of putting this with your meal that you was going to get to that steak, but you had to get through them vegetables first. 
You know what I mean? Walk them through it. Yo, oh, get to the vegetables last if you got the steak because it's still on. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's yeah, that's what it was with the product. For real, for real. Because that's how I felt. That's how I feel about us, dog, as a race, as people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? As people, we got to coexist to win, bro. If not, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Big time, too. Yeah. yeah. Say, this album, you, you showed a lot of that. I told you, you, you felt some kind of way. Like, I heard this shit and was like, man. I laughed, bro. I cried. I got mad. I was I was happy. I had silent wins. I had public wins. I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, who can I talk to about this shit? I had, like, you know what? Let me be transparent because this is all I ever been to the people that said, I've been listening to you since this. Mm-hmm. Right. I fucked with you since this. I, I listened to you in my uncle's car. My dad did this. My brother Joseph, he turned me on to you. I, I tied my first shoelace. You know, like I'm I'm charged with knowing that exists. Mm-hmm. And I like wouldn't be real with myself about my existence to to continue that on today. I feel like I'm needed as a vessel, as a bridge to get this vibe out for us. You heard me? And that's it ain't about me, it's about us. I feel like we all our minds like in there somewhere. And like I just wanna let you know you could get it out. It's cool. Cause because you hear me? You, you, you're such a hero and a fucking monster. You ain't telling nobody right. what you're going through. Right. You're swinging an axe. You're holding it. Chopping a hundred trees. You hear right. me? Arms yeah. big as fucking right. tires in this bitch. You've been swinging all day. Yeah. And they, they don't expect you to be tired. They don't, they don't even say, let me rub your shoulder. You hear <laughs> me? Let me, let me? Let me see. Else. You good? You hear me? You don't get that. You just walk in there. You hear me? Quietly. Ready to still do some more work. You hear me? So this is what this project for some, you know, paying on last forever only winners do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's where I'm at with this shit, bro, to still be here with these errors. Like, I know people exist that feel this way, that they don't want to put their chest out and tell you, stop shit. with that dumb shit, boy. You're going to get fucked over out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're tired of doing that. Right. Facts. They're tired. Because you think I'm preaching to you. Facts. You're thinking I'm trying to tell you how to live your life. Right. No, dog. No. My approach might have been wrong. Talking to the next whoever, the next king the next survivor the next wheezy the next you know what i'm saying right maybe my approach might be different maybe they don't want to process it but you ain't gonna never say we ain't tell you you ain't gonna never say that i don't want you to go to your grave i don't want you to go to hell uh uh purgatory or heaven lying to yourself without knowing the truth about knowing we ain't tell you something (laughs) that's deep you feel me so I put it out there, you hear me? Because it ain't just me, it's us. I know it's us. I know it's us. I can't even take, I can't even take credit for it. I'm a vessel, a bridge. Argue with a bridge, nigga. Let me see, let me see how that conversation go. <laughs> I'm doing a whole job that's bigger than you and bigger than me. You dig? I'm just playing my part, you feel me? And I just feel like right now we need that connection. I'm tired of being tricked and played with young versus the, the mature, the gold school versus the you. No, we need each other. It's on you how you want to get Definitely. through it. You heard me? I fuck with you. You heard me? You fuck with me. You, I know you're going to teach me something. I can teach you something. You heard me? Everybody ain't bad, you dig? But we're going to do business, make it make sense for you and me. You know what I'm saying? We got wins to get, bro. That's why we're we not catch like it the back. new Atlanta. We could be that. That's the image we need to see as far as to, to turn up some more. Find, find our goal. Find our 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 luster. You know what I'm saying? Find, you know, find our niche, you feel me? And churn butter. Wow. And they coming for the pack, bro. Come Trust on. me. I've been all over the world. They coming. It's that yeah. No matter where I go, it ain't me, it's us. People be forgetting it's us. It ain't me. You know what I'm saying? That's OG shit. Yeah, dog. Like we that yeah, you know I mean? I think it's 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 bigger than it's like a Motown, it's like a Atlanta, it's all that, all wrapped up in one. And I think we just, you know, on the verge of organizing some waves and everybody get their turn. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you the next X, Y, and Z. You feel like you the next artist or something out there. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna give you an example. This is, I guess we call it like a parable. Right. I want you to know you heard it here on uh, Chopping Game. Chopping Game. Then they go. There you go. Chopping Game. Shallow wasn't gonna tell you. He yeah, 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 yeah. You saw that, right? Mm-hmm. Look, if they had 3,000 artists, right? 3,000 artists. 3,000 people, 
maybe let's say 2700 to fill up the thing, right? Mm-hmm. Right? You trying to tell me 3,000 artists, they fuck around on Facebook. They everybody friends on some type of a... Social media. Some type of a... Uh, it's, it's, a so it's, it's an error. It's a, it's a part on Facebook, a group. Right. Right? A group, so everybody getting the message, right? If them 2,700 packed out a venue for one MC, right? And 299 of them was outside waiting to get in, right? Mm-hmm. The story would go, oh my God, that was dope. Bitch, right? Right. It was dumb out there. I got the fucking pictures of that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I got the footage, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And as far as getting investment, anyone loves to be with a winner. True. So you have the presentation possibly to find you some investors. Right? One option. Two, a label may possibly see this and said this person had it stupid here. Right? This person drops a project, 2,999 other fucking rappers. They all see the shit. <laughs> Support the shit. They from your backyard. Simple. What the fuck? <laughs> now you're bored in car wave. He had the club banger. Right. That nigga had Twitter shut down. Right. Bitch, we got to do something with you. Bitch, she got it. She got it crazy out here. It ain't rocket science. You heard me? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. Too many people want to throw themselves a hundred yard pass and catch that bitch for a touchdown. Bitch, please. Motherfucker, show me. <laughs> Say, please. <laughs> bitch, show me. You're going to need help. Right help. Find your help. Reciprocate with yeah. that help. <laughs> and when, and when, you charge with it. You charge with it. Man, all y'all got, y'all, you know what I'm saying? If you hearing this, I know y'all can go crazy out here. Whatever y'all are trying to get. You know? There you go, Shello. How you want to know how to help it you? You got to build the platform. This this one right here. And, and we got more coming. I'm, I have a showcase that I'm doing uh, May 1st, but it's a private showcase with a producer by the name of Drummer Boy. He's a, a dope brother of mine I've worked with. He did T-Pain, my shorty, uh, Plies. He did uh, put on for my city, Young Jeezy, Kanye West, a bunch of whole other shit he's done. He's going to be in town May 1st. You heard me? You can get at my DM on Instagram, 504 Fiend, or you can hit me up on fiendshows at gmail.com. Oh. If you want, you can contact Drummer Boy on IG. But hmm. the whole thing is they're only gonna have like maybe thirty to fifty seats for producers, artists, labels to be able to catch two, three songs, play their vibe. We all doing it. We 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 finding a a, a a location that could be able to facilitate that in in the vibe. So I'm, I'm gonna run into y'all exactly. Yeah, so I'm talking about we doing it here in the city, right? Doing it in the city for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do, uh, announce the location and y'all gonna hear about it. Show, but this is a, a start of something. You feel me? May first, and just because even if you don't even make to make that event, I want you to follow up and see what happens from it. Because he's saying, uh, if a producer come and a producer got something and it can go, he'll help co-produce that and go find a placement with, 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 with whoever, right? right? Right. And if it's an artist that come, who's to say that artist don't present the next whatever? He called up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that type of situation. We just kind of testing it out to see what that do. You know what I'm saying? We could have just chilled, but it's private, you feel me? Definitely. But I think that for the fact that that energy going to be here, you know what I'm saying, some people should have an opportunity. You know Talk saying? about some of the young artists you're working with. Like, who you working with right now? Um, working, always working with Fendi P. You know what I'm saying? Always working Doves of Hash, uh, Trey Woods. You be having your hands on a lot of things that people don't know. Yeah, I get. I, I, it's just a blessing, bro. I get a chance to run across a lot of artists for they, you know, they get they, they, that, that big notoriety. Mm-hmm. But it'd be just a blessing, you know, feel me? Just think about it. I could have just probably just been another executive in their life. That people did good business or bad business, and that's the memory of that. 
instead of somebody that did music with you, chopped it up with you, and assisted, you know, where I could assist, you know what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah, but now we are, we're big on our CEO shit because it's time for the next wave of acts, you know what I'm saying? It's the next, the, the new breed of the cigarette. What about an upcoming artist? How could he get in touch with you? You work with them, too? Like, yeah. he got something maybe, if he know he the shit and he trying to get a feature with you. Right, right, right. Uh, upcoming artists, producers, labels. If you feel like you got it like that, man, you got to put some numbers behind that shit. Either you're going to put a fan base behind Period. it. Period. Because I about to say, they about to tear your they ass up. The table with something. They got to come to the table with something. I'm going to tell you why. Because according to what we're trying to do, a feature's a feature. If we in and out, boom, boom. Back of that business, that it is. You know what I mean? But if we looking to do something a little bit, you know, um, a little long-term, if you want to learn this business a little bit, to me, bring something else to the table that we can make it work in this puzzle so you can have some ownership. You know what I'm saying? And you can appreciate being there. And when you feel like you don't want to be there, you're invested in your money is enough to be there. You know what I'm saying? So you got to anyway, be there. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So um, I think that's the best way to do business with anybody in 2021. Yeah, because motherfuckers be having other shit to do. Yeah, so make it worth their while. Niggas just be hey, thinking we don't have no likes. Both hustling anyway, so that's how I support. Yeah, make it, bur- make it both worth hustling. their while. I like to live at home and shit and chill. Yeah, and that's how I go. Smoke weed and shit, too. Right, 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 right. But we he, do, he, I know we do a lot of shit with the young artists, like... We definitely do, but like as in you definitely you gotta make us see you. Cause motherfuckers think just getting a feature, we can make it happen just all that it don't happen. It's not that you gotta it's not market that and promote, man. You gotta you gotta be creative, you know what I'm saying? That's for anything. If you're a director out there, man, make your sizzle reels, let somebody see your shit, man. If you're a comedian, you know, look what these awesome other comedians are doing. If you're in construction, man, turn up. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Make your thing something unique enough to grab the traffic that you're looking for. Because they got a million people waiting to be like, see, told you. I I, I like strawberry jelly my peanut butter too. Shit, you know what I mean? They got a million people waiting to be like, and that's why I fuck with them. You can't change your mind. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, like, I feel like tapping something like that, bro, let's turn up because the city, I think that's it. You know, it need new millionaires right. to, to be here. And right. to be able to do something with their money and to be able to curate something for people to be able to be like, I get to go here and enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? Is it, we're a tourist city, but it all happens in the quarters. It's on us to go ahead and add something else in there. Now they got to go out the quarter a little bit. You know what I mean? Now they got to go a little bit. You know but you got to make it safe for the people, period. Okay, I'm happy you mentioned that. Man, listen. Listen, listen, listen. got to make it safe for the people. Say, bro. He won't eventually say, bro. too far from he said that because he's not dangerous. He used to be. Bro. No, I'm just I'm watching all of this dudes here. No, you just so you, you ain't tell that man how they pull up on you in the gas station. You thought say. he was about to take your car. Oh, listen. All right, then. Don't talk about. Man, check this out. This is real talk, right? So I was pulling the gas station the other night. I'm on live, right? I said, this is the gas station where the dudes be stealing the cars at, right? Mm. He pop on there. They don't steal any cars yet. Oh, they different. jacked the shit out. Yeah, it's a different they pass yeah. two of the little dudes, they pass in two cars. Look at me and give me the peace sign. Mm-hmm. OG <laughs> on live. <laughs> wow. Look what he say. That's what you get for being out there. What you doing out there? <laughs> Tell you, that shit was so crazy because I just said that shit and that shit happened just like that on live. Just like that. Boy, them little dudes, they different. Every, everything exists out here, bro. Everything exists out here. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and respectfully, it could be some some ordinance in the mix of something because nobody ain't got to step on each other's toes. Just that, you know, just me personally, man. Killing ain't making no money. You feel me? Like, you know, they got other things you can do. You feel me? Like, ain't nothing wrong. You got to have structure, though, bro. Nothing wrong living to be 25, bro. Ain't nothing wrong and living, you know, to see what happened with another 25 years. You feel me? Don't wait just till you got a kid to appreciate your life, man. Crash out for what? You feel me? I know some of y'all out there, if you listen, I know some of y'all mama wasn't home. I know some of y'all daddy wasn't home. You hear me? You still got to look in the mirror and tell yourself, self, I love me. I'm in love with me. And fuck them prison bars. You heard me? Yeah. I'm about to ball. You heard me? The pastor balling. You heard me? <laughs> yeah. The bishop balling. Shit, I like balling. You like balling? 
I like yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, like I'm just saying, though. Say, you feel me? Like, I wish I'd have known that when I was younger. Man, look, dog. All I could do is. <laughs> I played for fool's gold. Man. That was fool's look, gold. Look, 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 look. We all. <laughs> we gold, all. Fuck that. I got to tell him to do it. Shit, but that all, shit was fool's gold. <laughs> yeah, bro. I ain't in. I'm just saying, you can't say you ain't seen nobody achieve something. Your grandma brought you to church. You can't say you ain't seen something. You feel me? Yeah, we all got kicked out. I got, <laughs> I, look, I, got I got jumped. I got jumped going to be an altar boy. You hear me? Funniest shit in my life, dog. Rest in peace. Rest in power. My cousin Chris. I got it. I can't tell you. I can't tell you on live what I did. We can't tell you. I'm going to tell you, bro, you can't. You told me. Off alive, off alive, off alive, off alive. I can't tell people that shit. Holy hell, bro. What happened? I can't. You know, I'm not going to do that, but I'm not going to lie, bro. People are really. Other people think I'm some type of social guy. Come on, bro. We had to talk about the album. bro. We had a chop game. Yeah, we had a chop game and talk about this, man. Yeah. Not me, man. Crazy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? What song you ride? You know you like riding to the most, man. Uh, <laughs> off the rip, I'm going to full forty-eight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Talk this okay. talk. <laughs> nigga went anywhere to get out the way of that bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm skirt. 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 Nigga said, would you like riding? Would you like riding? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to check that one out because I be riding a lot, bro. So you know what I'm saying. Say, <laughs> that nigga a critic, bro. I was trying to get that nigga out. I ain't know I was got to get well, I'm going to go ahead and say, bro. I'm gonna, you know, I know about Mr. Walt Warner, bro. Walk it like I told you. Hey, love. Love. I'm going to go check it out. A shot won't be at peace of mind when I ain't got distractions so I can really check out the lyrics and what, you know what I'm saying? Metaphors, all that shit, man. Just long punchlines. So you see OG, huh? You a motherfucker. What you listen to, though? Mm-hmm. Like, as in, yeah. What's your music? Man. I was listening to jazz music, man. Latin jazz and shit. You feel me? Different kind of shit. Yeah. You um, jazz, huh? Yeah. It's, yeah it's, Who your favorite jazz artist? My favorite jazz artist. Think of the game. Uh, that would be, he, he's, not Nazi, he, yeah. it's not Najee. It's, oh. it's Miles Davis. Okay, all right. You know what I mean? But Najee is, is, he is in his own. Know who that is. He's in his own. World realm too. That's two. like Sunday morning. Yeah, oh, that boy cold. Right, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah. The reason being is because it's all over the place. You know, they right. skit, they scat. You know, the vibes is all over the place. You know, what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, I think sometimes I may like to try to vibe in a pocket of, 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 of songs like that. You know what I'm saying? So you ever met a old nigga who play like he don't know nothing but know a little bit about everything? <laughs> 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 Man, nigga know a little something about everything. Tell ask that nigga something about astronaut. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, that nigga know a little something about every sprinkle something on it. I'm telling See, you, boy, that's I, a big I, world. I, I learned that I couldn't beat everything physically, so I had to use my mind, so I had to educate myself. Right. So I did a lot of reading. Right. Reading is good. A lot of reading. Man. Reading is good. You know what I mean? Nigga, motherfucker. Bro. Reading is good, man. You know what I mean? Them yeah. hard, them hard, them hard, um, um, how would they call them? Hardbacks, the books. Paperbacks, hardbacks. Paperbacks, and hardbacks. I was reading everything. Yeah, Comedy still, books, I ain't still good. Still getting them. Where you, book, yeah. you reading your books at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Let's go. Uh-huh. He said, where, where you, you reading, reading your books, books at, Playboy? Dungeon. That is. Talk to him. Man, come on. Everybody. They don't know what the dungeon is. A dungeon, man. A cell. A hole. You got all that knowledge from the hole. Yeah, you can't do nothing. You locked in that motherfucker 24 hours, bro. You come out one hour for a shower. Really? It ain't no hour, bro. You mm-hmm. get a, a walk around and go get your ass a fucking shower and get back in that cell. That's simple. So you got all day to do what? Nothing? Read. Educate you say yourself, that shit right, like it's right. that simple, though. It is. Mm-hmm. Look, I mean, either that or you're going to go crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, you trapped in the cell all day, bro. If you trap an animal in the cage, what are you going to do? You just lock him in there all day. Go crazy. He's going to go crazy. Yeah. So when you let him out of that cage, what are you going to do? That's Take off. Yeah. He's gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to edu- You got to do something, bro. Uh, educate him, man. I'm not about to go mad, man. 
That Jeez. niggas eat rather eating shit and run. Trying to get out of jail, <laughs> doing all kinds of shit. I said, bitch, them people not gonna let you out. You eat shit sandwiches and all that kind of shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> you know? Hey, I'm serious, but you, you know, I mean, I wasn't gonna try to, you know. Cause I'm gonna read all kind of books about notches and everything, man. I don't give a fuck what y'all want, man. He's out there. Good shit. Good shit. I told you that nigga that motherfucker boy. Right. Tell you the truth, don't it? That nigga know a little something about it. Say, but everything. don't we supposed to be talking about the album? Though? Why are we always <laughs> talking about it? Why? Uh, I just I, want you to show him you're a motherfucker. I ain't want to make no, it seem like it was just Say, but stop that, come on. You know what? My mama said, but she tired of hearing about me in jail. Oh, well, she man. had to live through it. Every time I go to the house, the lady blowing on me about that, man. Stop telling people you was in fucking jail. Bitch, I'm a bust a piss out. You ain't gonna be on this show. I come to you with a knot on my eyes, Shallow. You know why the fuck. All right, bro. Oh, man. See it, though, man. <laughs> Love Say it, bro. Love it. Definitely. Love it. What you want? What about that? You ain't heard it. I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Now I know what the man like to ride to. I know what he said his favorite song. <laughs> and because yeah. like the it's ride. The so, so, so from beginning to end, it's just about the whole fiend ordeal through life. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It is. Yeah, it's. Um, You've been on several labels. I've done world tours. Awesome seen tools. a lot of shit in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? You wanted a, like I say, one of the best rappers to come out of. Thank you. Bro. All this period. Thank you. Man. Hand down. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to do a verse for verse with somebody. When is going to happen? I don't know, man. I don't, you know, that's in the stars, cool. It's going to be nice. You know, it's, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, we him all. in Mexico or him in which other what y'all do? Well, you did a verse. You did your already. If, if, yeah, if they I won't did. put something together, enough. like, well, yeah. He did his already, bro. That'd be fire, though. Y'all sent me into that. Hey, bro. That's another story. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> now, right then and there, y'all got to somehow, like, edit the footage to go hey, to that, <laughs> no, to that no, verses. No, to that little not. verse, you heard me? <laughs> Run that right there, you heard me? do that. Yeah, yeah. And just, you know, shoot a little, what, three-second little blip. So, say, check this out. Mm. How you ended up getting with that life? Man. Because I know we've been knowing Moose for a while. And a lot been, of yeah. For a while. I think, man, like, um, I think already just the affiliation of, you know what I'm saying, like what me and Moose already was doing and just the, the encounters I kept having with Spitter. You know what I'm saying? I think that it just, it was it was only right. It's grateful, too, you know what I'm saying? To the world under, under a whole nother along with a new brand for myself, so to speak, and kind of like um, started a new business. You know what I'm saying? And I'm uh, grateful, but learned a lot and still learning a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember my, 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 my picture of my picture of it is seeing a 13-year-old dude get out the barbershop chair with a, um, a bow tie on, tux top, Gap, you know, we were shot at 13 to see that I have new supporters, new people that's aware of and it's still pursuing the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like. See, so let's get into your merchandise. Where my shirt at? I got a little something for you, baby. I need On my shirt. deck, I got a little something for you. I ain't got a little something for everybody <laughs> with me. See, see. I might. I'm, I'm I ain't going to over them. talk myself no. under the liver, but yeah, I do yeah. have. She don't need nothing. I can eventually uh, touch her shirt, body with I some. Just, yeah, but I definitely, yeah. He don't need nothing. He don't even wear That's it. That's cold. Only, wear, wear, a t- only wear a T-shirt. That's why, too. That why the nigga got so much money. I only wear a T-shirt. And I ain't got no money, man. Zach, what's your boy's name? <laughs> Zach Zuckerberg did the same. That's his name? Zach Zuckerberg's his name? That's his name? Is that right? What's it? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg did the same thing. You heard me? That boy got great t-shirts, like a 500 of them. He read somewhere that thinking about what you got to wear every day takes boy, too so much crazy. away from big business. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something else. You could have put your time on something. So that boy got like 500 great t-shirts in his class. Every day he's like, I wear wow. t-shirts because that's the only that thing I could afford. I don't know what Shelly's talking about. <laughs> I was saying that your boy was saying to him. I'm waving my check, Shelly, so I can buy some other shirt. Can't pay a nigga who got everything. Yeah. You can't pay a nigga who got everything. Oh, man. But see, check man, this out. Man, that's bro. I know you got some videos yeah. out on this album. Come on, bro. When, when, when you gonna shoot my record? 
We're going to shoot it soon. I got a director locked in. You heard me? No, we're going to shoot it soon. Because I know you're going to, um, you know, so I had some finishing touches on that day. To make that look really, really fun. Soon, though. Come on. Soon, yeah, yeah. Shit, chat. Yeah. That's mandatory. Hold up. Y'all got a show on together? Y'all want to? Shout out, Bimmy. Man, that nigga said, boy, that's cold cool, blooded, bro. I read it, he really read it. Like, I didn't even bro. know that, bro. All right, bro. Okay, then that's cool. <laughs> we, we do a few tunes here and there, man. Oh, well, I know that shit gonna be hot, bro. That's true. That's true. So you ain't gonna let me peep, bro. You shouldn't be. Wait till we get, boy, it's always. Hey. He's hey, holding out on you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. I can actually tell you I appreciate this album from an artist perspective. Thank you, bro. Like this shit was thank something you, different. Thank you, thank you. Can't even take all credit, all praises due. You heard me? You feel me? I just was a got it out. You know, the vessel. I was, I was like a mic. You did because I feel like, you know, you could, you could stop me if I'm wrong. I feel like as a project for the city, somewhere in the media, you know, the big homie, the little homie, like you know what I'm saying. So yeah, shit. It's for us, bro. Definitely, definitely. So you know, we, so we just chopping game. You know what we do. Me, and my homie Fiend. Yeah. The OG. What <laughs> What y'all blazing on, bro? What y'all blazing on? Man, what I don't know. Uh, mm, mm, mm. That boy said, mm. Mm. <laughs> I was looking from a bag. For the record. No, I was looking for a bag. For the record. Let this segment be of the cannabis section no, no, of not that bad. this my show. Bad. I'm not putting it out. I ain't telling you what to do. But if you could label Black this man. section to, mm, mm, mm. you feel <laughs> me when it came to talk about that gas, you hear me? Because it was just dee, chronic break. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, run. I don't know what I, all the shit I smoked today, but we it's appreciate been, you coming out, my dog. Gas, boy. And we can't wait to just go home and jam this good shit right here. What else you got coming for? Uh, I got another you know, few more vibes coming out. Another international Jones project, more merch, more clothes coming, and um, you know, cool some other little things we got on the other sleeve. We do. Just hang tight, man. If you can, you know what I'm saying. Follow me on Instagram, five zero four fiend. If you're not from New Orleans, from Louisiana, the O stands for zero. You dig? <laughs> so five zero four. <laughs> I F I E N D, you know what I'm saying? You hear me? Yell at me. I'm Fiend for the Money on Twitter. That's F I E N D, the number four D A Money. You hear me? On uh, Snapchat, I'm Fiend. Want, want, yep. F I E N D W H O M P. W H O M P. They would have put all that shit at the bottom. Maybe. That nigga right there. And it's, it's a fucker be dead. You feel me? Like, look, homie, this this who I am, you dig? I'm, I'm, I'm a husband, I'm a dad, you feel me? I'm a hustler, I'm a go-getter, I'm a survivor from the city, this is me. You feel me? You like it or love it, this is me. You feel yeah, me? I, 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 I want to ask this one question. Mm-hmm. Almost before we, we get off the air or whatever. Mm-hmm. What does it want, want, really mean? It's just, it was, it's like striking. <laughs> what mean? I mean, how that... I right, came about. Okay. Are Y'all you from, laughing. Uh, I went to the whole behind that shit. Look, if if if, what if, you if, if you mine if, told me get off the wall, I said, nigga, wonk, wonk. Ah! And said, what? Put your fucking hand behind your back. Get the shit. Anyway. <laughs> you I don't know if you're familiar with the soldiers. You got a song hey. on the limit called Soldier Songs, right? Right. And uh the first soldier song is No Limit Soldiers, you heard me? That's on, I believe, true. Thank true to the game, you hear me? Um, and then they got the second sort of song, a silk song, called uh, You Don't Want to Go to War. Right. And I rapped on a joint, and my verse started out saying, Want my problems, remember me, fiend, the one that told the shot it. And I was just like getting on my first soda song. So my verse started off, Want my problems. So for like a bar or two out, you know. Getting ready to say my verse, I was like, "Won't, won't, won't, won't." You know what I'm saying? Kate was like, "Bro, what the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> and I was like, "Uh, huh? he's like, man, you just said some shit, dog." And I was like, "He like with a W or some shit." And I said, "Won't." He's like, "Man, whatever you do, say that shit again." Who said that? Kel. No, they don't understand what you're talking about. Kel, Kel C, yeah. Kel C from Beast by the Pound, <laughs> Medicine Man, Three Nine Pies at Parkway. My bad. That's where it kicked out. Mm-hmm. That's the one, one. I always wanted to know that, bro. It's like I was striking. 
Yeah, man, started one way and then it just. Well, actually, it was on mistake, but it was right on cue. I, I guess you could damn sure, so yeah, you could say that. <laughs> you could say that. That's what's up, man. Yeah. One of, I guess you could say my claim to fame. Yeah, that, that, that kind of said it. Everybody was using that term, too. Yeah, I brought a lot of people to the table. Shit, so, yeah, me and X, too. Me and X. You pulled me and X back out on this album, too. Yeah, man. You know, she blessed me with a vibe, you know what I'm saying, on this joint called Write a Check that's produced by the regime. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody involved with the project, everybody sharing the project. You know what I'm saying? Talk. I thought Mia was the best female rapper they had till she and IT came in. Huh? She was the queen, you know, but I see she still got the queen of era when, you know, Foxy Brown and all them. Eros. Was all the Eve and all of them. None of them could fuck with Mia. Eros, that's my Mama Mia. Now you got three my two with all them. You know, she, that's right. what she's supposed that's to be. Beast. She's a beast. That's what she's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. The best in, in, in what's like. She came out with Jimmy first, man. Did you get Jimmy when she came out? Oh, oh. Or me, hey. I'm not sure. I know. I, I remember Marcello? she was working with some people from. Uh, no, well, I remember Mia from. Um, uh, um, she wrote a record for Juan Mia. Mm. Yeah, but I thought it was. Mm -mm, that's like, that's when I, I I met Mia from that when she wrote she wrote on um, Farm Maze hit record. What get like ghetto girl? Yeah, huh? I get a girl. Get a girl. Yeah, me ex wrote that. Yeah, me ex wrote that. Okay, all right. Me ex wrote that. They were that's what I'm saying. We had local heroes. Some people might have had Steady B, Stessa Sonny, Big Daddy Kane, Rock Kim. We had me ex Tim Smooth Bust Down. You know what I'm saying? MC Thick. You know what I'm saying? We had. People, you know what I'm saying? That was our Gregory D. Manny Fresh. We had these mountains, these sporty T. Yeah, sporty T. Man, you be naming D. all day. Uh, yeah, you're saying like you the know, hit just man. the hitman. You feel me? Like our everlasting hitman. Shit, talking. Yeah. Ta yeah, come on, man. Yeah, we had local, too, like man. local, huge, man. like huge, like you know what I'm saying? Like to have to captivate the city, bro. That wasn't easy to do here. You hear me? Most wanted positive, dog. Doghouse posse. Hmm. Three nine posse. Three nine posse. Jeez. You heard me? Yeah, dog. Man, yeah, that was bro. Music, that was Man, <laughs> found <laughs> got what it takes to make it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you heard me? I was going to call him, man, listening to UGK. DJ Lil Daddy, a.k.a. Baby T. You heard me? Holly Grove Records. You feel me? Baby T. Yeah, man. My cousin passed away. He introduced me to UGK. 12 years DJ, old. Right? He was the DJ. He the yeah. guy that produced you were like 14 Tim Smooth. Years old, he, <laughs> he produced I Gots to Have It. He produced I Don't Give a Damn About Your Boyfriend. Me, me, and Rue. He produced that shit. The Ninja Crew, yeah. See, I told Sporty you that no, no, I told you Sporty that you know a little something about yeah, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you. Yeah, yeah. Marcelo, that's music, man. Errors, man. music, man. Errors. I really listen to music. I, I just be saying you know a little something about everything. That's all. There you go. What are we talking about them? Nothing, bro. <laughs> Say, thank y'all for coming out. I was the audience who was dropping shit and all kind of shit Shots in the background. Shout out to Cheese, Taco, and Rice. Make sure y'all holler at them. Shout out know? to the man with the... We love you. <laughs> yes, man. yes, we do. Hey, yeah, <laughs> man. Shout out to Cheeks, Tacos, yeah. and Rice. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yeah, I've been bro. seeing them on the ground. They've been hitting me up, man. I appreciate the respect and the love. Shout them out. Y'all go see them, them people, see the bro. Y'all gonna love them. You hear me? See what they do, man. Y'all know what we do. Peace, love, and happiness. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I like We that. can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I say for 27 years I've been getting checks cleared yeah. Rolls, Bentleys, yachts, Lears I sip champagne like a nigga sip beer A women by the trees, they used to call me Paul Pierce At league money, I walk like a ball player And I'm loved in New Orleans, I'm the motherfucking mayor Hat to the back, you can barely see the pay Niggas get the peace sign, bitches get the wave Tell them haters I don't see them, tell them niggas get a wave Pussies looking pussies, tell them bitches get a fade Hand them with the shit I don't miss that law. 30 on each hip, which one I'm gon' draw? OG swag, yeah, I'm looking like my paw. You would now win the presence of a motherfucking boss. All black stanger, yeah, I'm flying like a wall. So these niggas can't see me unless they see in the dark.